this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I'm going to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome any new viewers. So I am really excited about today. I decided to do another Christmas video. I'm probably going to do ones for this whole week. So we're going to just go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to show you what is needed like I always do. But also remember if you follow me on social media which links are down below you'll have already seen a list of everything needed for this project. And you can also get that list on the community tab. So let's jump right in. Alright, so here are the items that are going to be needed. So, you're going to need a sign. I got this from Walmart last year after Christmas. So, you don't need this exact one. But if you could find one that has the openings, that'd be perfect. So, you're going to need a Christmas sign. You're going to need Christmas paper. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They're about a dollar ninety nine a sheet but you don't have to do this you can do wrapping paper uh, con uh, not contact paper I'm sorry <laughs> I can't think of what it's called uh, the poster board the poster paper that stuff um cardstock thank you couldn't remember what it was called that you can use tissue paper napkins whatever's gonna work but I got these they were actually on sale I think I paid like Three, about three dollars for about ten sheets so that wasn't too bad you can also find that in the clearance or something <clears throat> you're gonna need some cardboard that's gonna fit behind the sign and I didn't do measurements because your sign might not be the exact same size as mine so you're gonna have to do that you're gonna need Mod Podge and black paint I'm using ink by Waverly you're going to need some tower blocks, a sponge brush for the Mod Podge, I forgot about a paintbrush for the actual paint, but of course you're going to need that. You're going to need miter shears or something to cut the tower blocks with, and then you're going to need a craft knife to cut the cardboard, and of course glue. So let's get to it. Let me make sure it's in camera for y'all. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around the sign so that I can cut what is needed off because I don't need the extra I just need it to be able to sit behind the sign and then I'm gonna take my craft knife and I'm gonna cut along that line that I made And I'm trying to be careful to make sure I don't cut it too big or too small. So. So you don't have to go all the way through the cardboard when you first do it because you want to make sure the line's straight and then you can go back and do the deeper cuts because you already got the line going. And if you don't want to cut up your table, which this is a craft table anyway, so I don't care, but if you don't want to cut up your table, make sure you put something protective like a glass cutting board or something underneath it.
so there that is. See how simple that was? And then this fits where it needs to go. So yay! <laughs> so the next step is I'm going to paint the back of this. Well, I'm, no, I must stop there. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the tower blocks so they fit. So let me see. I'm just showing you what. Right, so I'm going to cut it. a quarter of an inch should be plenty big enough for what I'm going to do so that is what I'm going to do for it I'm going to cut four pieces a quarter of an inch Hold on, y'all. All right, so you're gonna need a total of four. I don't remember if I told you that of these. So, like I said, about a quarter of an inch again, and just go with it. And if it's a little smaller, it's not a big deal. You just want because you're gonna want to hide it. You don't want it to be seen. The whole point is just I'm sorry I got a text again hold on all right they're cut so now I'm just gonna paint everything and I'm gonna paint it like I said ink from Waverly and then we'll go from there so I want to paint this just because it'll give it a more finished look It'll just help it make it look like it's not, I think it'll make it look like it's not cardboard as much. So, of course, if you find a piece of wood that'll fit behind your sign that you want to use, you can do that instead. But I didn't have any, and cardboard works just as well. So, we're going to do that. Now I've used cardboard on a few projects and I think it works great. So it is cheap because nine out of times you're going to buy something that comes in a box and you can keep the box for crafting purposes. This is actually from air conditioners we bought. We kept it because you never know. Look how much better it looks just having the black paint on it. So. Now y'all do not have to use the same paint I use. Y'all can use paints from you know the Apple Barrel and all that and stuff. Even some from Dollar Tree. Just make sure it covers good. So if you get a, a thinner paint, you might have to do more than one coat. I have a purple I got from Dollar Tree and. I had to use quite a few on it, quite a few coats with it, so. I just heard a lot of good things about Waverly from other YouTubers, and so I got it because I wanted to try it out, and I like it. So, I've used house paint, y'all. Uh, paint I bought to paint my porch on a project. Just because I needed a lot of paint, and it was a color I was going to use, and it was there, so. 
it was outdoor paint, so. But, like I said, you can use whatever paint you have. And to let you know, yes, I do plan on painting the sides, but I'm going to wait until it dries. Alright, so I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to paint my little wooden pieces of course. I'm not too worried about painting the, these two parts because those are the parts that are going to be glued. So if they don't get paint on them, it's not a big deal. And if they do get paint on them, they're going to be covered. So. I'm not too concerned about it. I just want to make sure the parts that are going to be stuck, you can see, are black. So it's not as noticeable. Because the whole point of this is to hide these pieces, to camouflage them in the thing. You don't want to see it. It's supposed to be an illusion. At least that's what I want to call it. And I am not too worried about the fact that I am painting my fingers black. It washes off. Eventually. So, this paint it, <laughs> camouflaged in my fingers, probably can't see it. So we're going to let this dry and then we'll move on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue these on there. And I'm using hot glue. Y'all can use whatever y'all want to use. But I think hot glue is fine. And then after I do this, I'll go on to the next step where I Mod Podge the paper onto the cardboard. I just wanted to go ahead and get this on here. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the next step. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to have to cut the paper because as you can see, let me make it sure you can see it, it's not long enough. So, let me 
do it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cut that. And then I'll move on to the next part. I may use scissors actually for this part. Just because sometimes my hand slips. I might have got a little crooked here, but that's fine. Let me trim it. Not a big deal. As you can see, it goes from gray to gray. So what I'm gonna do is when I do this part, I'm gonna take the gray off. So that's my next step. And then we'll go from there. Because we want this to match as close as we can. I know I'm not perfect, but I'm gonna try. As you can see, it's not going to be a perfect lineup. As long as it's gray, white, gray, white, I'm fine with that. So the next step is to put the Mod Podge onto the board. Give me a second, y'all. Right. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm painting it with Mod Podge. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this one on to make it easier. Now I'm going to finish this off and then I got to line it up. I'm going to line this up.
And then I'm gonna go over the whole thing with my Podge again. To help seal it. And then we just gotta let it dry. It's a little off, but it'll be fine. I don't think you'll notice. Now we just gotta let it dry and then we can move on to the next step. So alright y'all, so it's dry, so I'm gonna attempt to excuse me, cut off the extra that we don't need. So bad. it is I ripped it a little bit but that'd be fine because it'll be covered with the thing but as you can see apparently I didn't get glue there so I'm gonna glue that real quick and move on all right y'all we're gonna move on to the last part and that's gluing our sign to the back so try to do this as fast as possible because this is hot glue and it will just did. Sorry y'all. Give me a second. Alright y'all. So I finished it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't talk. Okay. So there it is. I'm going to hold this up so you can see. There it is. I think it came out looking cute. Also if you want to, you can add more embellishments to it. I like this the way it is. I was also thinking at one point putting some floral behind it instead of the paper, but I like this. You could do a bow, you know, and if you don't want to use this hanger that was already in it, you could do Christmas bow, uh, ribbon to make a Christmassy hanger, but I absolutely love how it came out. I'm happy with it. If y'all like it, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment because it lets me know 
that y'all are liking what I'm putting out and it does also help my channel to grow. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.